Hey guys, welcome back. Let's jump right into it. What actually happens to your prostate if you masturbate every day? This is a question a lot of men consider, especially as we get older, but very few want to talk about it openly. For most people, the prostate is a mysterious gland, one that only gets our attention when it begins to cause issues. We hear stories, we worry, and to be honest, we often avoid this subject completely. Even with our doctors, there's a lot of stigma and even more false information out there, but ignoring your well-being, especially out of embarrassment, is one of the worst things you can do for your quality of life. Today, we're going to end the silence and talk honestly about the dangers of daily masturbation, especially for older adults. In this video, we'll reveal the true science behind how often you ejaculate masturbation and prostate health, focusing on the risks and negative effects you need to be aware of. We'll discuss the three major changes your prostate experiences after the age of 40. And most importantly, I'll give you a clear, straightforward action plan to protect your prostate health for the long term. And stay tuned because one of the tips I'm going to share includes foods you probably already have in your kitchen. Foods that genuinely support prostate health, unlike habits such as masturbation, which can actually put you at higher risk. First things first, what exactly is the prostate? Think of it as a small walnut-shaped gland located just under the bladder, wrapped around the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. Its main role is to produce the fluid that nourishes and moves sperm, making it essential for male reproductive health. For most of your early life, it works quietly in the background. But here's the key point. As we age, especially after 40, the prostate naturally starts to get bigger. This is a typical part of aging for most men. When it does, it can begin pressing on the urethra, leading to some of those well-known annoying symptoms trouble starting to urinate, a weak stream, waking up at night to use the bathroom, and that nagging feeling that your bladder is never really empty. Sound familiar? You're definitely not alone. Now, let's tackle the real question. Is frequent ejaculation from masturbation or any other source beneficial or harmful for your prostate? The honest truth is, Daily masturbation can be extremely harmful for prostate health, especially as you age. Despite some older claims, newer research has revealed some worrying risks. Taking part in frequent masturbation causes ongoing unnatural stimulation of the prostate, which can actually increase irritation and chronic inflammation in this sensitive gland. This repeated inflammation is now believed to be a major factor behind many prostate issues, including enlargement and even the appearance of abnormal cells. The so-called prostate flushing theory, the idea that frequent ejaculation helps cleanse your prostate, just doesn't stand up for seniors. In fact, too much stimulation can lead to increased hormone imbalances, disturb the body's natural healing cycles, and create the exact conditions that lead to prostate issues like benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, and even cancer risk. The reality is, relying on masturbation to help your prostate is not only useless, it can actually be dangerous, especially for men over 40. So what really happens inside your body as you get older? And why does masturbation make things worse? Let's explore the three main changes your prostate experiences after 40, enlargement and fluid retention. As you grow older, the prostate naturally enlarges, a process called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. This isn't cancer, but it's responsible for most urinary problems. Repeated masturbation can worsen this by causing more irritation and making the gland even less effective at releasing its fluids. The result? Retention, pressure, discomfort. Chronic mild inflammation becomes a continuous risk. If you're serious about stopping the harm, type STOP in the comments now. 
and let's take charge of our health together. Let me tell you a real story from my clinic. Frank, age 65, visited me with constant pelvic pain. He was waking up four or five times every night to urinate. After a careful conversation, he admitted to daily masturbation, sometimes even multiple times per day, believing it would keep things healthy. The truth? His prostate was badly enlarged, inflamed, and unable to fully release fluids. Once he stopped the habit and focused on an anti-inflammatory diet and exercise, his symptoms improved dramatically. This is a perfect example of how the flushing myth can actually harm older men. Hormonal shifts. As testosterone levels drop with age, the body converts more of it into dihydrotestosterone, DHT, a strong hormone that directly encourages prostate cell growth. Frequent masturbation disrupts this delicate balance, to causing more DHT production and speeding up enlargement. Cellular abnormalities. Every day your body replaces old cells with new ones. Over time, with billions of cell divisions, the risk of mistakes and abnormal cell growth rises. Especially if the prostate is inflamed and irritated from too much masturbation. This constant stress on the gland increases the chances of dangerous cellular changes, raising the risk of prostate cancer. Pillar 1. Annual medical checkups. Starting at age 40, or earlier, if there's a family history, you should visit a urologist every year. This involves two important tests, the PSA blood test and the digital rectal exam, or DRE. Yes, the DRE might feel uncomfortable, but it's a 15-second step that could save your life. Masculinity isn't about dodging checkups. It's about taking control of your health. Early detection is the most crucial factor in surviving prostate cancer. Pillar 2. An anti-inflammatory diet. Give your body the nutrition it needs to fight inflammation and defend your prostate. Cut down on foods that cause inflammation, red meat, processed foods, fried foods, and excess sugar. Fill up on vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats, like those in avocado, nuts, and olive oil. And here's the secret weapon, tomatoes. Tomatoes are rich in lycopene, a strong antioxidant, proven in many studies to support prostate health. Cooked tomatoes, like tomato sauce or paste, are especially powerful. Forget the old myths about masturbation and focus on what really benefits your body. Now, if you find these stories helpful or the risks are making you think, type 1 in the comments below to let me know you're with us. And most importantly, hit the like button so this message reaches more men who need it. Pillar 3 consistent physical activity. You don't have to become a marathon runner, but regular movement is key. Aim for at least 30 minutes of brisk walking most days and add in some strength training to keep hormones balanced. Kegel exercises are also important. They build up your pelvic floor muscles, supporting the bladder and prostate and help with urinary control. Build these habits into your day and leave damaging behaviours like masturbation behind. Pillar 4. Hydration. This one is basic but essential. Drink enough water during the day. Two to three litres is a solid goal. Good hydration helps your urinary system flush out toxins and keeps build up away. Again, there's no shortcut. Definitely not with masturbation. Stick to healthy, proven routines for real results. So to wrap up, taking care of your prostate is not something to ignore, especially as you grow older. Avoiding risky habits like masturbation and, and focusing on these key lifestyle pillars will protect your health, your energy and your quality of life for years to come. Breaking the silence, getting educated, taking action. This is the most important thing you can do. Before you go, 
Pause for a moment and subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss essential tips to protect your health and independence. I truly want to hear from you. What part of this video was the biggest wake-up call for you? Share your thoughts, stories or questions in the comments below. Your words inspire us to keep making life-changing health tips, so pass this on to someone you care about. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.